Marcus, tell me about colonialism and imperialism. Imperialism is rebranded colonialism. As many of you may know, colonialism predates capitalism. However, modern day colonialism is incentivized by capital, which makes it imperialism. However, imperialism works as colonialism because it still upholds the values of white supremacy. As you may know, the United States has made an active effort to imperialize all black and brown countries. Any movement for black liberation in Africa, whether it be Sankara or Mandela, was ended by the West. This was done for two reasons. One, because it threatened the United States class interests, and two, because it threatened the hierarchies of white supremacy in America. Thanks, Marcus. And yes, as you said, for the last two centuries, imperialism and colonialism have both been driven by capitalism. A lot of people think colonialism and imperialism ended after World War II when a lot of countries gained legal freedom or flag freedom. Thomas Sankara's Burkina Faso, or formerly Upper Volta, which Marcus mentioned, gained independence from the French in 1958. But imperialism has prevented them from having true economic and political independence. The West has created a global financial oligarchy with institutions like the IMF and the World Bank, which are used to keep countries like Burkina Faso trapped in debt and force them to implement neoliberal reforms, meaning allow Western corporations to have access to all your natural resources and make sure your people are always available to provide cheap labor. And when leaders like Sankara and Gaddafi try and unite Africa against the West and demand true political and economic independence, the Western world has them killed for it. That is imperialism, and it upholds the same features of colonialism, including white supremacy and economic domination. We'll follow Marcus now.